Uh, the local staff um, were walking me through this slum maze where she lives, and I remember being just overwhelmed at the, at the time, um, just trying to take everything in. Just the smells, the sounds, the tastes of Indonesia. It was an absolute delight to be invited into my own sponsor child's home. She was just so outgoing and warm and friendly and polite. I was absolutely floored by her and the time that I spent with her I got to know her a little bit more. I'm impressed with who she is as a young woman and I think that she's kind of one of these kids who, you know, if she puts her mind to something will actually achieve it. She's just got that kind of drive and ambition. Um, it was just such an exciting time for both of us. Eka Rosalina also has been given the opportunity to be the national ambassador for her community, so she's actually representing the voice of local youth throughout Indonesia um, in various gatherings that World Vision has helped to pull together. So she's just got lots of opportunity through World Vision to engage with her community, engage with her peers, specifically peers of her age group. It's amazing to me because her family is thrilled with the progress that Eka has been making. Even her younger brother who was there, he was just clinging to her side with smiles, like big, big smile, and he's so thrilled with who he has as a big sister. I mean, that's amazing for me to see. One of the things that they expressed is just how amazingly thankful they are for the ways that World Vision has come into their lives and provided them with opportunities. And they also look forward to the day when their community is going to become self-sufficient and when they themselves as a family unit will be in a better position to give back into the lives of, of others. The volunteer group and myself had the opportunity also to visit with a mother's health group. Women from the community, usually mothers, had been trained in nutrition, general and basic first aid, general health care, so that they would know very quickly when their child becomes ill or if a child in their community becomes ill, what are the things that they're looking for. While we were in Chilinching, we had the opportunity to tag along while the mobile library clinic was making its rounds one day. And the kids are super excited when this, this truck comes around and makes its stops near them. And they just spent time reading with a few staff members from World Vision. Um, we also were able to spend some time reading with them too. I consider myself to be incredibly privileged in the fact that I have been invited into the homes of people that I've traveled to visit. Not just go in, but to be welcomed in, you know, to take off your shoes, to go in and make yourself comfortable and hear from their hearts the struggles that they're going through. You stop looking at poverty as this too big of an issue that, that can never be solved and you start recognizing it as this is, this is something that I can be involved with and how can I help my friend? So the poverty becomes very personal at that level um, and my responsibility to respond to the poverty that I'm seeing becomes very real as well.